Coming up on 824 back here in the BT Kitchen, Chef Mike Ward joining us right now. We love our breakfast in the morning, but we like to keep things quick, efficient, and get out the door in the healthiest way possible. That's why you are here. You don't have kids yet, do you? No. My goodness, run now, Riaz. <laughs> okay, I have two young girls, and the hardest thing is to get them fed in the morning. So what I want to show you here is a little breakfast hack. Gets them fed. First thing, though, Daddy absolutely needs his coffee, right? Mm -hmm. We all know how cranky we are, you of all people, if you don't have your coffee, if you don't have your coffee. Maxwell House is now making Keurig compatible uh, pods. Push that down. In the time that it takes to make that cup of coffee, you can get your little guys fed. So the plan is to actually make this breakfast the night before, so much so I get them to make it. So what it is, is mason jar oatmeal. What I have is in my pantry, big box of jars, they pull it out and they make this in any kind of combination they want. You cannot mess it up. So I've got one for you, one for me. Mm -hmm. These are adult size, as you can imagine. This is one serving right here? Well, this is adult serving. That's more kids serving. Okay. I mean, you, you know, even you'd have a tough time getting through that. I've got dried cranberries. Here, have a go. Mm -hmm. I've got dried blueberries for you. Okay. Now, the thing is, is that these cook themselves. This is where this is exciting. So, toss a bit of nuts in, toss a bit of dry fruit. You can't screw them up. I've got uh, trial mix here, which is raisins, almonds. I like to make a mess as my kids do. Toss a bit of that in. I've got some cinnamon, nutmeg. Now the trick here is when you put your milk in it, I've got regular milk over there. You can use soy, almond. You put your lid on, mm -hmm. put it in the fridge overnight and it cooks. It does all the work for you. And then when you are laying it out in the mason jar, how much milk are we putting in here? You want to cover just the oatmeal. Okay. And how long is this good to stay? Say if we're going Sunday night to start our work week, how long can we keep this in the fridge for and it still stay? A couple of days. Just it couple will days. continue to cook. It will increasingly get more soggy, which you don't really want. Nice thing about the jar, though, with the lid on, if your kids are still frantic in the mornings, take it in the car with a spoon. They can feed themselves in the back. And if you want it warm, take the jar off, pop it in the microwave 60 seconds. You're good. This is the jump start for parents out there to help save you time and myself one day. I'm living vicariously through you. Right Dad now. of the decade, in two years you will love me for this. <laughs>